Hello, greetings from Columbus, Ohio. I'm in front of a Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm on High Street in downtown Columbus and Buffalo Wild Wings started right on this street. We're gonna go to the original location. This is not it. Uh, the first and the second location were open very quickly on this street, one on each end, because the college runs along this. So the college buildings are along here. So they put one by that end of the college and one by that end of the college. Uh, it was such a big success that store one and store two both opened in a very you know, tight little time period. Uh, they've both been demolished and there's some discussion online as to which one was first, but I know which one was first. The confusion comes from both of them opening around the same time and uh, Buffalo Wild Wings lists the wrong street. They put a picture of one with the address of another in their history on their website. So I'll explain it to you. I'll show you what they did look like and I'll show you what's there now. It's all changed, unfortunately. They, they've leveled a lot of this. Some of these buildings are old, but a lot of the buildings on this street have been leveled over the years. Uh, brand new, you'll see when we get to uh, the second location. My goodness, you'd never know. Um, I love Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm not a super big, uh, I'm a big wing guy, but I'm not a big chain restaurant guy, but I love their wings. What I always like about going there is they have all the different flavors, list them all on the back of the menu, and they have pretty good chili, and it's very consistent. You know exactly what you're gonna get every time you go there. Uh, I, I mean, I've had bad wings over the years, mostly good, but I, this place, they're always good. So we're gonna go uh, to where they first started. We're gonna, I think, go that way first. I'll let you know when I get there, but I think it's that way and then that way. Uh, we're going right now to location number two, but this is probably like location number 80 because they didn't put, build this one until they tore down the other ones and now they're everywhere. And again, how crazy is it that it started here in Ohio? You think, Buffalo. But instead, they went to Buffalo and they brought it back. Also, I'm gonna tell you about the third W that's not there anymore, so B, W, W, W. All right, let's go. All right, still on High Street. So we started out all the way down there. Uh, we've come up this way. We actually passed, uh, driving up here, I passed the first location. So this location, second location, first locations in between, we're going there next. And then the newest location, the one, you know, it's a, the corporate store that opened after they opened a thousand locations. Anyway, this one was on the stretch. Now I'm gonna show you a picture of it. This one, you can't match anything up because all of this, this whole building thing behind me, none of this was here uh, 15 years ago. I think it's all been built within the past 10 years. So we're gonna take a look. So this is what the second location looked like. See, it says BW3. It was kind of a smaller location than the first location. It was located right along here. Uh, basically, there was a, a bunch of different buildings that were here and it had like a staircase taken up to it. I was lucky another, it was the same guy that had done video that showed where Arthur Treacher's was, had driven up this street and taken a video of this whole street. So I was able to catch it. Uh, it was it was probably, probably right about, right about here. So this is probably where you would have entered for the, for the second one. The reason for the BW3 was when they first opened, they took two specialties. It was uh, two guys from the college that started the chain. And what they did was they, they went to Buffalo and they found two things they really liked. One was the wings and the other one was this sandwich which was called Beef on Weck. It's Beef on Weck sandwich. Uh, it's beef sandwich. And the, the Beef on Weck sandwich was their other item. So it was BWWW, because it was Buffalo Wild Wings and Weck. Uh, the Weck sandwiches turned out to not uh, be as franchisable as, uh, as the Buffalo Wild Wings, but uh, the Weck is gone, the Wild Wings still there. Uh, they did bring back the Weck sandwich not that long ago uh, for like a limited time, but it's not available right now. But hopefully it'll bring it back again. I've never had one. Maybe I'll go to Buffalo though to have one. I like this place here, the Hippie Hut, Hippie Hut Smoke Shop. Nice mural on the side. And that's right next to 
the second Buffalo Wild Wings. All right, so we're gonna drive down a bit to get to the first one. That I do have some pictures to match up. That one's very interesting because uh, I have two pictures. They don't look alike, but I'll explain why. So that's down this way, let's go. I am now at the corner of High Street and Woodruff. And this right here would have been the very first Buffalo Wild Wings. Now on the Buffalo Wild Wings website, they say that the first location was on High Street, but then they put a picture of this one. Now, this is the corner of Woodruff and High Street, so I totally understand it actually went to the corner almost. So it was conveniently located on High Street. Even on their paperwork, it would say Wood Woodruff at High Street when they had just two locations. Uh, I saw one of the, uh, like, I don't know, menus, like a takeout type menu advertisement. But so that would have been right here. Now I'm gonna match up. You can match up a couple things here, uh, which is pretty cool. So let me show you. All right, so this is what the building looked like. And it would have been right here. You could see uh, the brick building in the background. Uh, there was another building here, which is not this one. We're gonna look at it from the front. This building is much more recent. This has a Panda Express in it, but we're gonna look at it from the front because there's actually a picture of it from the front, from the side. We're gonna look at that building from the front to see the restaurant from the side. I hope that makes sense. You can see here it says Buffalo Wild Wings and Weck, and that was right here, uh, but even though they weren't on High Street, they actually had a sign on High Street. So it's pretty confusing to where it was actually located. But physically, it was right here, right in this spot. All right, here are some of the campus buildings across the street. So you can see a lot of college business was there for them. And the building here, let me get the sun glare out of the way. On sun. I think we're not going to do much better, but this spot here, can I cover it? Yeah, there you go. Uh, this spot here, this building has been here since Buffalo Wild Wings was here, but here over where the Panda Express is, they made it match. They did the same brick style, but that was not here at that time. Ah, there we go. Thank you, clouds. All right, so you can see here if you could look you can match up there's this door this with the rounded top here's the restaurant next to it says number one Chi oh man they had the number one chinese here that's the, i mean that's the best and then moe's this is now uh eat at moe's welcome to moe's uh but this at one point was a lounge and then you can see the sign buffalo wild wings which was here but the restaurant was around the corner so there's that pretty interesting to think that uh, all of that started right here. Every one of those uh, wing places that are near every shopping mall in the country didn't come from Buffalo, came from right here. Uh, I wanted to say about this place, there is a Reddit thread I found where someone went to another location in Columbus. They posted that and they said it was the original location. Everybody in the comments said it, it's just not. And I saw uh, like a flyer from when they had two locations and it was this one and the other one down the street. So this, these are the two and this is number one. Number two probably opened, I don't have an exact date, but it probably was just a few years later. Might have even been in the same calendar year. So, you know, close together. Number one and two, hope you enjoyed them. The wings, I hope you enjoyed this. Right now, box gonna pop up here and one over here. You can choose either one, I'm in both of them. Choose this one by the Panda Express. Used to be Buffalo Wild Wings. Or the other one. See you next time.